I'll start this style by just separating the hair and we're going to be doing an infinity braid. That's two sections crossed over. So the small section of hair, it goes under the right, over the left, back under the left. And then you're going to take it over the right, like a figure of eight, back under, and then just add a small section of hair. So you'll repeat that all the way down, over, under, over, under. And then I'm adding in from the right hand side. So it goes over, add a small section of hair, take it over, then under, over, then under. Add a small section of hair. So the two sections that you start with, you never add in hair to. You'll just keep doing that as a figure of eight all the way down, only adding in from the right hand side. So I'm taking it over, add a small section of hair into that strand, and then you continue with your figure of eight all the way until you get sort of round to the crown area. So it's a little bit fiddly to start with, but it is just repeating all the way down and keeping those sections nice and wide. Then I'm going to do a three strand braid to lock that in. So just a normal three strand braid, but I'm letting it kind of tangle at the end. So I'm not going to use an elastic. So braid, braid, braid until you run out of hair. And then I'll just flip that end through that little loop there. And then you don't have to use an elastic to keep the braid in. So we'll come to this side. It's a little bit clearer on this side. So two sections cross over, take a small section. It goes under, over, back under. And you'll keep doing that again all the way down, adding in from that side that's nearest to the, to the face. That's it. So we go over, under, over, under, continuing that braid down. You could just do an ordinary French braid or Dutch braid, but you know, we've gone all out today. We're doing an infinity braid. So we'll just keep that all the way, adding in, under, over, underneath all the way to the other side again, adding in the last section there. And then just to sort of anchor this braid down so it doesn't stick out at a funny angle, when I'm finishing the braid, I'm just gonna take a tiny section of hair from the back of the head and sort of anchor the braid to that section. So you can see me there just taking a small section of hair and then I start my normal three strand braid to lock that infinity braid in. So again, I'm just going to let the hair tangle at the bottom as I'm braiding. It creates a little braid underneath and then make a little loop and then just pop that through. And that's your infinity braids done. So we're going to focus on the top now. So I'm just getting Ali just to hold that front section. And then I'm just taking sections of hair and creating ponytails. I've kind of angled these ponytails back today. I kind of wanted that more of a sweeping effect, less severe. So I'm just going to do that into the crown. So adding in those ponytails, just using elastics. And then we're going to come back to the top. So just releasing that hair down. Now I'm just going to tease these side bits out just to sort of soften the top bit. So I'm just holding the ponytail, teasing outwards for a little bit more volume. And then we'll come back to the top, cross the first section over, move the second ponytail out the way. Pick the third ponytail up and then add that front sections to it, secure with an elastic band. And that's the first sort of section of your braid. And then I'm going to tease that out. You can make this as big as you want to. So again, going back to the top, cross those sections over, move that one out the way, just clip it out the way, and then add those two sections to the next ponytail down. And you just keep repeating this, teasing out as you go, making it as big as you want. Crossing over, move that ponytail out of the way, and then add those two sections to the next ponytail down. And then I like to sort of really go in now and just tease out this braid. Adding the last one in now, splitting in two, crossing over, and then bringing those two sections into that ponytail. And the top down your teasing out make sure you get it as big as you want completely up to you and then I'm just going to go in now add a little bit of texture to this so I've decided to do some braids with the same technique that we used before with that loop method so I don't have to use elastics just kind of pulling that through adding another one you can do as many of these as you want or you don't have to do this bit 
and then I will just go through with a bit of back comb, creating a bit of volume to that back ponytail, and then just a few random curls just sitting on the top, and then this is the finished result. So I just think it looks really different, really interesting style, not the easiest style, but I think it looks amazing.